Hey guys, this is Shane. I thought I'd share with you a little bit of Fender news of something that I saw in a shop here locally in Melbourne, Australia just this weekend gone. And what is it you might ask? Fender have released some new guitars. I put that in quotations because they've been making these particular guitars for a while over the years, but it looks like they've really made a push for them. And what are they? The Japanese made electric guitars by Fender and they look absolutely awesome. In terms of price, these come in right in the middle of the Mexican stuff and the US stuff. Here in Australia, they sell for about $1,000 less than the American counterparts. They look absolutely stunning. And there's something about the Japanese stuff. They just finish that little bit differently. I actually picked a couple of these up, had a look at them and just went, wow, these look phenomenal. There's no lefties though. So if you're a right-handed guitar player, you're absolutely loving it right about now. Hopefully these have a global release, but I thought I'd share this with you and show you a little bit about some of the guitars right now. So let's take a look. The prices that you see on this website are actually the retail prices. No one pays that here in Australia, so you do get them a whole lot less. So uh, let's take a look at this. What I really dig about this series is they've got a lot of 60s and 70s influenced electric guitars, including Jags, as you can see. We've got a Jazzmaster. We've got the Richie Kotzen Stratocaster. Classic 60s Mustang, classic 60s Strat. Let's take a look at that. We'll go through them as well. So there we go. It's a 60s Strat. 1899 is the retail price, which is a whole lot less than the American series, at least here in Australia. Like I said, that price is the retail. You do get it for less when you, you know, go in and buy it. So they're, like I said, they're about $1,000 less than what you'll pay for an American guitar. And there's something to be said for the Japanese quality and craftsmanship and all that kind of stuff. So we've got a whole lot of different strats here as well, which look pretty nice. We've got the 60s strat in the uh, Fiesta Red as well. This is actually one of the ones I saw the other day and it looked awesome. And yeah, it's got that Knopfler-esque kind of vibe to it, I think. It looks pretty cool. So very nice. We can click models down here and it'll take us through to some more. We've got a 60s Blackie style guitar, which is nice. Slim C-neck. So the 60s necks are usually a, a lot thinner. Um, that will suit probably most people, but yeah, you can probably see this is a slim as well. This is a classic 60s Strat. So it's a two-tone sunburst. It looks the business. I actually saw this one as well, and it's awesome. They also do a whole range of Telecasters as well. So let's take a look at this. Let's check out this pink Paisley one. They wanted to get this one in, but they couldn't, unfortunately. This is the only one missing from the entire range at the shop I was in. So I thought, you know what? Look at this. Who wants a pink guitar? <laughs> They just look really cool. Even if you're not into pink guitars, obviously, the quality of these are gonna be awesome. So I can't wait to hopefully, I'd like to do some videos on these at some point, but that requires a right-hander. So uh, I'm gonna have to talk one of my friends into helping out. But essentially, yeah, they're all kind of classic designs. This is the 70s. It's got the ash body, so it's nice and light. And you'll notice with some of the Jap stuff, they kind of have the old school headstock design, like something about the finish on the headstock. Well, I don't know if it's just the color of it or what. It just looks older or it looks different. So it looks cool. In Australia, it's great to see Fender doing a push of these. I think that's a really cool thing for the market here. Japanese guitars are pretty popular here in Australia. And it's great, not only in terms of where they sit, in terms of the price range of the Fender stuff, but the quality of these is gonna be awesome. The one thing I really dig about Japanese guitars over a lot of the stuff they try to do with the American series, which are great guitars as well, is they're just very bare bones. They're kind of like how they'd make them back in the day. No extra switches or pots or anything. It's just like, here's a Strat like it was made back in the old days. And that's kind of cool. There's no S1 switching or noiseless pickups or anything like that. You're just getting a bog standard guitar. Let's check out this 60s Mustang as well. So this one, has an older body, rosewood fingerboard, slim C neck. So that seems to be basically the, the pattern here. And it has the vintage style single coils and some toggle switches here as well, which is always fun. But yeah, so disregard these prices. These aren't what you'll actually pay when you go in. Um, I don't know how I feel about the retail price on these. They could probably just bring that down or, or actually have what it, you should be paying for it on the website, but anyway. I guess some people might just buy them without even asking for a discount, which is crazy. It's good to see that the price isn't too heavily inflated. I know we get screwed here a lot in Australia in terms of prices, but this, this is great. 
Thanks for watching. My name's Shane. Let me know your thoughts on these Japanese Fender guitars. And if you've seen them in your part of the world, I have a global audience from all over Europe, the United States, Canada, and everywhere else. So yeah, if you've seen these and you've had a chance to pick one up or you've already owned one, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I think this is a really cool decision for Fender to do this again and sort of make a push on them. I know you can still get them here and there, but now they're actually kind of like official on their website. I think that's really cool. Like I said, I haven't been able to find these on the actual US Fender.com. I use my VPN service to access it and all that kind of stuff, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. So maybe they'll get there eventually if they're not already there now. It might have just been the fact I couldn't find them on the website. But either way, Japanese Fenders, get the thumbs up from me. Well done, Fender. Next mission, fix the Fender Mustang. <laughs> Catch ya.